Hey guys, in this video we're going to take a look at the Spanish ring knot. It is a handy knot that you can use to decorate various objects and it's not that hard to tie. It takes a bit of practice but it's perfectly achievable even for beginners. First thing we're going to do is prepare our mandrel and our cord. I recommend using a lacing needle and we're going to wrap it around in an X shape like you can see here. Then we're going to take our working end and pass it under over to the left. To continue we're going to take our left top cord and we're going to place it over the right one like this. Then take our working end and go under over to the right side. This time we're going to take our top right cord, place it over the top left. Then again with our working end we're going to go under over to the left side. Now we're going to find our standing end and we're going to insert our working end next to it. This completes the three-part Turk's head which we're going to interweave to get our Spanish ring knot. We're now going to slide our working end over the standing end like this then follow up our standing end going under one cord then following it all the way to the left side and over it over the standing end that is. Now we're going to follow it again going under one and to the right side. With this done we're going to go and find our two parallel cords. In this case they would be the standing and working end and we're going to split them going under two following the cord that goes over them, like this. We're going to find the next pair of parallel cords and we're going to split these two just like we did before, going under two. And finally we're going to find our last two parallel cords and we're going to go under two to split them at which point we're going to be on the left and all we need to do is insert our working end to the left of the standing end and this completes the Spanish ring knot. All there's left to do is to remove the slack, slide it off to something that you would like to use it on and that's it. 